Okay, today we are going to talk about the new and exciting technology trends for the year 2022. This year we are expecting a whole lot of new technologies to become mainstream and become useful in the way we live our life, the way we work and the way we do business. And it is a whole lot of exciting for us in the technology industry because we understand that as technology progresses, we have more new things, more innovations in the way the world operates. But before we continue, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and also turn on the notification icon so that you get notified anytime we release a new video. The first technology we're going to discuss is the metaverse. Wow, I know everybody is shouting the metaverse, metaverse, metaverse. Metaverse has become the new buzzword. Facebook has announced that they are going to invest heavily on the metaverse and their major goal will be the building the metaverse from now going forward. We know in 2022 the metaverse hasn't been built, but we understand also that every person or most technology companies are putting in all their energies to make this happen. Then somebody will ask what is the metaverse? Metaverse is the intersection between mixed reality, augmented reality and virtual reality. It's like having a parallel universe where you can actually own property, move around and also live the same way you live in your normal life. So it's like instead of you having a universe, you now have a metaverse, like two or three different universes where you can actually have an existence. And uh, it looks like a concept out of the, of the sci-fi movies, but it is what most of the technology companies are building and everybody is betting that the metaverse is going to be the next big thing that's going to happen and that is so important and the metaverse will have its own currency its own land its own building and it's also a place where the artists who are going to be able to create content in this metaverse people who are going to actually create buildings for people to use who are going to create the avatars these are the new digital economy which means that if you're a 3d artist you expect that if you need to be able to hold your skill to be able to play within the metaverse and be able to use your opportunities, maximize your opportunities when the metaverse lands. The next trend we will see in 2022 will be a heavy adoption of digital and cryptocurrencies. Everybody knows that the country of Salvador have adopted the Bitcoin as the official currency. We will actually see more countries adopt digital currencies. We also had in Nigeria the e Naira, which is a digital currency issued by the Central Bank. More nations will actually issue more digital currencies this year. We will see more adoption in cryptocurrencies. We will also see more increased volume in peer-to-peer -peer transfers and payments using Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies, as well as the, the digital currencies being backed by the Central Banks of different nations. Everybody understands that this is the place it, as it's going right now because most of the time also is that you notice that as time is going and more digital currencies have been, been adopted and more people are using them you will notice also that as the virtual world like the metaverse is going to come on we also understand it has to be run on a digital currency not a physical currency so you also see that the interchange between uh, the physical currencies and the virtual currencies will actually start becoming blood the line separating them will becoming blood and we'll have more adoptions of digital and cryptocurrencies in the years to come. The next technology trend we are going to see blow some in 2022 is the low-code, no-code platform. So what is a low-code, no-code platform? Low-code platforms allows you to develop applications very fast with little or no code. These platforms allow you to be able to create very good complex applications by using already developed um, codes that you don't really need specialist coders to develop your high-end applications. Right. There are so many of them that make it so easy that you can actually just drag and drop and set up your events just like as if you are building up um, the building blocks of a game and you actually have an application that works. And this low-code and low-code platforms actually makes it easy to create applications at a very fast rate that you can be able to iterate, see what works and test your ideas without having to spend months in development using specialized coders. Another trend we are going to see in 2022 will be the rise of the non-fungible tokens, NFT. NFT has actually grown and become a useful asset class 
in the internet and most people are buying nfts and you can see a whole lot of works artworks and digital art being secured by nft being sold millions of dollars all over the world so basically what is nft nft is a non-interchangeable piece of data stored on the blockchain ledger what it means is that you, you can't have the same nft being owned by two persons so the ownership of a particular nft is known and is accessible for everybody to see but at the same time the nft doesn't stop the copying of the same data stored in the blockchain ledger or the duplication of that same data in another part of the blockchain ledger but in as much as this limitation of nft is available it hasn't stopped nft from becoming a digital asset that can be sold and bought and also can be invested in and we expect that in 2022 this asset class will also rise in use and volume the next trend we are going to discuss has become a buzzword it has become the new buzzword in the internet is the web 3.0 and um, web 3.0 has made a whole lot of um noise that everybody is asking what is web 3.0 web 3.0 basically is a decentralized ecosystem of the internet based on the blockchain technology so what it really means is that the information that is going to be on the internet will be decentralized in such a way that there's no single company that will be a custodian of the information on the web and it has been a whole lot of debates on from what will it look like what will be the major tools what will be major technology that will power this web 3.0 so many people have even argued that at the end of the day that the corporates are going to still dominate the web 3.0 but what everybody is advocating is a situation where no single company or corporate organization is the custodian of the data that is available on the internet where this data is written on the blockchain technology and every node of the blockchain have the same information as the same as the other node so in this way it will be decentralized and there's no central location that we houses the data that are available in the internet so but it's going to still take a whole lot of while before this technology will be available and mature and then become mainstream for everybody to use okay we have looked at the five trends that we are going to experience in 2022 but that doesn't really mean that um some other trends are not going to be available it doesn't really mean that ai artificial intelligence is going to go away or we're going to see less use of it it also doesn't mean that virtual reality or mixed reality or augmented reality are going away rather they are merging into the metaverse to become a new trend also we are going to also see more and more of different other trend trends in clean technology in education and also in the use of technology for governments but these are the ones we notice we are saying they are going to be the biggest and the most talked about trends in 2022 and also if i've missed any trend and you feel they are important put it in your comment section write a comment about the different trends that you feel that will also come in that we miss in this video thank you